Hello Connor Triple Seven. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys my first install of Windows 10 and my first impressions. So since Microsoft didn't want to give me the update right away, I went ahead into the website and downloaded their update tool, which basically allows you to install the update right away. So I'll have a link in the description below if you want to get that tool. So essentially, all you need to do is open it up and you'll see uh, pretty much in a second here too, it gives you two different options. You can immediately update this computer that you're currently running the software on, or you can go ahead and make a update device like a flash drive or an ISO file. So I chose to update this computer. All right, so now it's done and it has finished downloading. So now it's time to install it. So first things first, we have to agree to license terms. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get some updates and make sure our computer is completely up to date. So let's uncheck you for updates and let's say we're good to go. So uh, by default, it's going to install Windows 10 Pro, which is what, which is because I have Windows 8 Pro and it's going to keep personal files and apps. You can go ahead and click change what to keep and you can choose uh, what you want. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and keep everything um, for now at least. And then if I find Windows 10 is running weird, then I'm going to go ahead and fresh install. But for now, at least I'm going to keep everything and see how it goes. So we'll go ahead and press install and we'll get started. I didn't want to bore you guys too much with the install process. So I just took a couple of photos just so you can see the overall progress of how it's installing. But one weird thing was actually it didn't install my NVIDIA drivers correctly. So only one monitor worked and the one monitor that did work had a huge resolution. So I had to go ahead and install the updated drivers to fix that. All right, so I finished installing the NVIDIA drivers to get my computer properly displaying. Um, but now I'll kind of give you guys my first uh, like first minute impression. And honestly, I really like it. So far, it looks pretty awesome. I love the new taskbar. Um, and overall, I just like it. So I'll, I'll give you guys a quick little rundown. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm going to do a full review in probably a week or two. Well, I'll cover everything and then I'll have separate videos covering certain things. So like for, for Cortana, for example, and then really anything else, um, definitely leave your comments below what you want me to cover in the new update. Um, but like I said, I'll do you guys, I'll give you guys a quick little first impressions, um, little rundown through everything. And then I'll let, I'll let you guys go. So the first thing I'll go through is the um, new Explorer here. Uh, it's pretty nice. Actually, it's a new flatter look as I showed you guys in the, the technical preview. Um, not too bad. One thing I do notice though is it does seem snappier, just Windows in general, uh, everything from Chrome to uh, everything, everything just seems quicker. Um, my computer overall is generally a free fast computer um, and it's not gotten any faster, but it just seems snappier if you know what I mean. So this is their new Edge browser. Um, I Like I said, I'm gonna probably do a full video on this thing once um, you know I kind of get, get into it and see some new things. Um, but you know, so far it looks it's looking pretty neat. Um, there's a new dark theme that's actually available, which I kind of like. It's it's pretty mysterious. And overall, I actually really like the I like the look of it. Um, now, will it overtake Chrome? I don't know because Chrome has a lot of cool features that I don't believe this uh, this browser has yet. Um, but I think I want to give it a try. You know, no, no hurt in trying it out. So I will definitely make it a, give it a try. It is the default um, browser on Windows 10. So. We also have task view. So that's a pretty neat feature that I'm like loving right now on Windows 10. Uh, being able to switch between multiple windows really quick is um, pretty awesome. And of course, the oh so famous start menu is back. Uh, we have the scrolling tiles menu over here that we can actually seem to pull, I believe, if I can get this to work. Uh, but we also have a link to file explorer, you know, we also have the all apps menu where we can see our, all of our apps. Um, so overall, the start menu is pretty neat. Although I probably will end up end up um, unpinning all the stuff here or putting certain tiles around. That way, I, it's a different looking. But overall, though, guys, that's pretty much it. My first impressions. My first impressions are it's looking pretty good. So um, I'm really I'm really excited to like, really dig into it and throw it like a crap load of videos at you guys to kind of get you all familiar familiarized with windows 10 um like i said if you have any questions or any comments or something you want me to cover definitely that below and um, i'll definitely try and cover on that 
I hope to make a couple of videos this weekend and post as many as I can on new things to get out there and because it's a good time for views and stuff like that. So anyways, guys, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in future videos. This is the Hacker 7 and I am signing off.